Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome back. Another episode of Yellow Bus Guy. Um, one of my viewers wanted to know how the air system works or how the brake system works and how we uh, do a brake check. And uh, so, so I'm going to show you guys. I just realized uh, I haven't done it before. And it's a great suggestion. So if you guys have suggestions, send them in. And I'll see which ones uh, I can get done for you. So anyway, buses use, at least all the buses in my district, there are other buses that use hydraulic systems, but all the buses in my district are uh, pneumatic, which means the brakes work off of air, the crossing gate on the front, the uh, stop arm, and the brakes are all pneumatic. Now, pneumatic means air, hydraulic means fluid. Okay. Now... All buses that are, have a hydraulics or pneumatic system, you have a, a ga an air tank gauge that tells you the pounds per square inch in the tank. And, and the, some gauges have two needles like this one, or you have two separate gauges like the 2010 had. And like I think I explained before, there's two gauges because the system is split in two. So you can't have a complete failure and lose all your air at once. If you lose one airline, you still got another one. So you got half your system backs up the other half. Okay, now what we do as part of the pre-check, we do a thing called a lab. It's a leaks, alarm, and button. And here's how it goes. You get your uh, pressure up. You chalk your wheels. And in this case, I've got a couple third graders stuffed in behind the back tire so they can't go anywhere. You turn the key on. Brake in. And you wait for it to stabilize. And we're rolling. And you watch, you watch the gauge for one minute and look for uh, no more than two pounds difference and then you put your foot on the brake and hold it for a minute and watch for no more than three pounds in a minute okay and then you pump it down using the service brake and the alarm should just come on around 60 pounds and it has okay and now somewhere between 40 and 10 pounds the parking brake should pop out on its own locking the rear brakes there we go 30 pounds now all that demonstrates is the elect the uh, air system is working properly and that's how you do it in a nutshell and you're supposed to do that every day before you take off and uh, not all buses have uh, airtight systems almost every bus I've ever driven has had some kind of an air leak in it you can park it with say 30 pounds in it at lunchtime and come back and it's empty when you come back because there's a slow leak somewhere but it's so slow and so small of a leak it really doesn't matter and that annoying alarm yeah there it goes it should go off around 60 and it'll continue to climb to around 120 pounds and uh but anyway that's how it's done and that's how you verify that all your safety systems the buttons working properly your uh, alarm and uh, all that is working properly so there you go that's how you check the air system appreciate it guys uh sending some more suggestions that was a good idea and uh i'll talk to you guys later